evaluate radical expressions using the calculator. This one is very, very quick, okay, very easy. So we have the fourth root of 50. Now remember, that can be rewritten so that you have a fractional exponent, okay? The fourth root. So remember, this can be rewritten as 50 to the one fourth power. Now that's what we're going to type on the calculator to get this answer. All right, so let's pull the calculator up. Now, when we type this in, remember it's 50 to the 1 fourth power. So type in 50. Now, since it's an exponent, remember we have to use the caret key. So the caret key, remember, is right underneath the clear button. Now, since it's a fractional exponent, we have to put parentheses around that fraction or the calculator will not realize that it is a fraction. Okay, it will only think that one is the exponent and four is not part of, the ex part of that exponent. So when we do this, we gotta use parentheses, one divided by four or one fourth. So 50 to the one fourth power and then enter and we get our result. Now it said to the nearest hundredth. Okay, remember the hundredths place is two decimals. So remember the rules, rounding rules, the nine will cause the five to become a six. So our estimation is approximately 2.66. Okay, so the other one, again, we wanna change this to a fractional exponent. So we have 120 to the one sixth power. And again, that's what we want to type in. So go back to your calculator, type in 120 to the one sixth power. Enter, and again to the nearest hundredths, that is approximately 2.22. Approximately 2.22. Don't forget when you're doing approximations to use the little squiggly equal sign. That tells us it is approximately equal to.